Hello everyone, and welcome back. It is it has been a while. It has been over a week, I know. I was definitely burning out, like, last weekend. Like, not the one that just passed, but the one before. And I was like, maybe I should take a break. And then I was just going to combine vlogs because I wasn't vlogging a lot. And then I ended up going to puppy sit. I knew that it was a possibility, but I was supposed to get a couple days. I, I thought I was going to get a couple days warning when I was told that I would find out. When it was closer, she'd let me know for sure. And I found out the day before and totally had forgotten about it. So there was just a lot going on. And then on top of that, I mean, it, it wasn't appropriate for me to be sharing my voice and my thoughts and stupid, silly things last week with what's going on in the world. I mean, it's not new. What's going on in the world is not new. The protests are new again. I mean, this happened a couple years ago. This happened 60 years ago. Like, this isn't new. And I mean, that's the problem because it's not new and it has to keep happening. But I don't really want to get into that here because I could go off forever. But you know, educate yourself. There's a reason that these protests are happening. If you don't think they should be happening, educate yourself. That's all I'm really gonna say. And I know it's exhausting. If you are educating yourself, it is exhausting. I've been going through this for years. I think the first time that I was really faced with this was about 15 years ago when I started in university. And mostly it was the state of indigenous rights and everything in Canada for me, because that's what I focused my education on. Um, but definitely I did a history degree, so that's all kind of looped in and it is exhausting and I'm just grateful that I'm in a much better mental state now than I was then because there were some real bad days but the thing that the last thing that I will say on this because again is there's hope things are happening things are changing and I think that's awesome and so keep pushing keep fighting because maybe this is the time that it'll make a difference but from my personal experience of the conversations that I'm having in my daily lives, I'm not sure because I keep having the same conversation with the same people and then they just keep posting things on Facebook like, well, all lives matter. Well, yes, we know that all lives matter. Nobody is saying that all lives don't matter. They're just saying that black lives at this moment don't matter to a lot of people. We're not saying that all lives don't matter. It's like saying, like, I had this, I, I know I said I was, it's like, Fighting for women's rights and feminism does not mean that men shouldn't have rights. It means that women and everybody should have rights equal to white cis men. Fighting for black lives does not mean that white lives don't matter, that they shouldn't have rights. No, it just means that the systemic racism and the broken systems and all that, that are so negative and skewed towards persecuting and incarcerating and not protecting black lives, that needs to change. It's not saying, oh, white lives don't matter. Anyways, I've just, it's been a very exhausting week for so many reasons. I mean, I've, these are conversations that I've had over years and years and years and it's exhausting and I think it's even more exhausting right now because it's more in the media so more people are talking about it which is great but it, you're also finding the racists in your lives and that's 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 never fun so yeah anyways take care of yourself if you're fighting the good fight and if anybody wants to talk more about this please let me know uh comments whatever find me on instagram the one thing that bothers me the most is when people are like oh you don't, you think all lives matter, get on my comments, don't follow me, don't look at my pictures, but it's like, no, please try to engage those people, especially if you have a big platform. Like, yeah, it's funny to see celebrities swearing at people, but maybe use that platform to try to help these people, like, learn. And then if it doesn't work, then, yeah, then swear at them and kick them out of your <laughs> comments, but... Anyways, let's shift focus. I'm gonna throw in whatever clips that I have from last week. I think it was Sunday and Monday um, Where I was embroidering things I think that's what I was doing. I don't remember. I'm I'm tired. I'm just tired I haven't been sleeping well because like hey insomnia great week to come back um, But here's something I've been working on So that's pretty and um, this box over here is full of scrunchies that I'm making. Yeah, it's like full to the top with elastic on top of it. I went to the fabric store 
on Saturday they were having a sale or was it Sunday? I don't remember. It's, I don't know what day it is anymore. It was Saturday. Today's Monday. Um, they're changing ownership, so they're selling all their fabric. And so I bought so much fabric to make scrunchies, basically. Um, <laughs> and I also bought one of those rotary tools so I could cut scrunchies a lot faster. And so on Saturday night, I cut a bunch of scrunchies. I cut half the fabric that I bought because I was like, I'm not doing all of it. And um, yesterday I sewed it all in the tubes. And um, it's 198 scrunchies. <laughs> so that's a lot. So over, over the next couple days, I'm going to try to get those finished. I wasn't going to make any more scrunchies before I went to Blind Channel, but I don't know what happened. I have problems. Uh, but it was nice because it gave me a nice break from the world and everything and like being creative is always helpful to me and I've been struggling with writing and being creative. I did actually finally over the week manage to finish typing up all of these things. Also, <laughs> probably at the beginning of the week I was like, but is this the story that I want to be working on? So that's where we're at there again, but at least everything's typed up. It needs to be reviewed and everything, but I'm feeling happy that it's typed up. It is June 8th today, by the way, and um, I think I have like two weeks before I go to Blind Channel, give or take. Ah, but in good news, my friend Bubs, she officially got the email saying, hey, we want you here on this date, so she'll be out on Blind Channel, so that is super awesome. Very excited about that. And um, yeah, so I think we're caught up uh, as much as we can be. I've been working about the same at the theater, and I'm working on like, a COVID response thing. I think I might have mentioned that at some point. So I'm going to work on that today just to finish it up. And then tomorrow I'll go into work again. And um, yeah, fun times. Anyways, I'm so tired. I'm going to go. It is 20 to 12. I've had a pretty productive morning already. I've mailed some stuff. I've typed up things. I've cleaned. And uh, maybe I'll go do laundry or something. I don't know. But I'm back, I guess. I almost decided not to vlog today. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to vlog. I feel like it. So it is 20 after 11. I've been up since 9-ish slash 10-ish. I don't know. The situation was last night. I mentioned that the neighbor or there was people yelling outside. It was the neighbors and they were yelling and screaming and crying and arguing and slamming doors and going up and downstairs quickly, blah, 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 until about 1.30 in the morning. <sighs> that was fun. And so I got to sleep and I woke up again at 3.30 because there was more yelling and screaming and crying and uh, it was good times. So I didn't sleep as well as I was hoping to last night. Um, but I have, since I woke up, done done edited my vlog. I edited my vlog. As you saw, I stained some hoops. Uh, those are for Notre Dame, a piece that I did yesterday, and then a piece that somebody asked me to do, so that's good. I also still have these scrunchies from yesterday, and I had half inch elastic that I cut, and I cut in half, so that is good to go for scrunchies. So I currently have enough elastic cut to do 15 scrunchies, which is very exciting. And um, I just got an email from my boss saying that he started on invoicing, um, and then just decided to go for it and do all the invoicing until the end of the month. So that's awesome because it means that I don't have to do invoicing today. Yes. Um, <laughs> so that's great. Uh, and it gives me probably, I'd say it's probably only like half an hour to an hour of extra time that I would have otherwise had to commit to that. So that's good. I think I'm going to putter a bit, set up my agenda, cut some more scrunchies out of these, this pile of fabric here. <laughs> one, two, three, four different types. So that'll be, assuming I do five of each, that'll be another 20. So it'll be like 25 scrunchies plus the like 34 scrunchies that I've made in two days. Assuming I pull through and do all that, I might run out of elastic before we get to that point, but we'll see. But anyways, 
I just wanted to jump on the vlog here and start it because I decided I'm gonna vlog today. not needing to pull anything out of my idiot bag, but today I am charging my wireless mic, so I did have to pull my mic out. I don't know why, but every time I use it and I point out that I use it, I just feel the need to hit it. Anyways, who knows? Obviously yesterday I did not feel like vlogging. I knew I didn't feel like vlogging when the day started, so I probably shouldn't have, but hey, c'est la vie. We, we started it and then we stopped it. <laughs> That's fine. What did I do yesterday? I made a bunch more scrunchies. I did show myself. Oh my god, I'm getting so much texting. Um, <laughs> I showed myself cutting out quite a few of them. I sewed ten. They do take quite a bit of time to sew. It's, it's not like tedious. It's just it's a process. I have velvet ones that I cut out that I still need to sew, but the velvet's a pain to work with. They're all pinned. I just need to sew them, but I probably need to sew with a stretch stitch. So there's that, but haven't quite got there yet. I also started working on embroidering some cows for my mom's boyfriend's daughter for her birthday. There's one there. Here's one here and then the last one I'm gonna do there. So I'm hoping to get those done today. I've just made a mess of my thread. I'm hoping to get them done today because I think it's her birthday in like two days. <laughs> it won't get there in time because you gotta mail it, but it's fine. Um, staff meeting happened this morning. It was very productive, very good. I have quite a bit of work to do going forward now for uh, facility maintenance stuff, like just prepping and the protocols, I think I mentioned it getting them in place for when we open and all the realisticness of cleaning between shows and all that, all that fun stuff that falls on me as a supervisor. So um, tomorrow I will do a bit of that. I have a couple things to want to go in and then I'll spend the majority of the time on that. I figure the best way, this is my plan, the best way is to have everything as specific zones. And so say you have a show and there's only artists, then you just build with specific zones. You don't need to add the lobby or the lobby bathrooms because they won't be used. Or say you do have public in there, then you gotta add those things. So that's the plan. We'll see if it works. Um, but yeah, so there's where we're at. <laughs> that's I'm caught up now to, I think, everything that's going on, except um, Jessica's mom texted me today and was like, okay, so I'm going to visit Jessica tomorrow, so should I pick you up at this time? <laughs> because she wants me to puppy sit, which is fine, except like a week and a half ago when she asked me, she's like, I'm not sure if I'm going, I'll let you know when it's closer, and I didn't realize when it's closer was going to be the day before, so have to manage my expectations for the next couple days because I definitely thought I was going to go into work, so I think I'll go into work tomorrow, like I said, and then take two days off and then just go in on Friday and Saturday. That's the plan. So, yeah, fun times. Anyways, I am here. I am working on stuff. I am going to do my pleasure boat, pleasure craft operators test here in the next couple days. I call it my baby boat course because I think it's funny. <laughs> So I'm going to work on listening to that because it's great. They have recordings, so I'm going to have to read it. I'm like, yes. So I'm going to work on that, and I'm going to continue to embroider. And then I have this <laughs> giant list. It is a full list. I want to do laundry today at some point. I'm hoping, again, that I can finish those those moo-moos so I can hoop them. And also, I finished Notre Dame, so I want to hoop that 
Uh, there's a lot. So I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm gonna start doing. I apparently just really don't feel like vlogging lately because it is now nine o'clock. It's actually 10 after nine. It's fine. So my day consisted of working on those cows, which I just gave to my mom's boyfriend, but I did take a picture. There's them cows. <laughs> so I finished those just now, but prior to that I was working on them and I was like, it is nap time. So I um, went to sleep, just couldn't deal with everything, I guess. I don't know, I think there was something going on because I was freezing to death and it was like 19 degrees out and I put on like a full sweatsuit and went to sleep under my blankets and um, did not sweat at all. So I did that from like three-ish to five and then I got up, took dinner, did my laundry, finished the cows, finally hooped Notre Dame as well. So there's that. yet. And um, yeah, that's been about the extent of my day. I currently need to clean up this disaster that I have made and also I need to pack because I don't think I mentioned it but I'm going puppy sitting tomorrow. I feel like maybe I did mention that for Jessica's parents and so I need to pack a bag tonight because I'm gonna go straight from work to there. I definitely did mention this so I need to do that now and um, probably fold some clothes while I'm at it but yeah that's that's where we're at. I did not get out and walk today which was part of the plan but I just could not function as a person today and that's okay. So I think what I'm gonna do is put on a movie maybe? I've been re-watching Galavant which is amazing. If you have not seen Galavant it's on at least Canadian Netflix and it's just so like <laughs> it's a musical that makes fun of itself and fun of the fact that it's on um, TV. Like I think the first episode of season two was we got renewed screw you cancellation bear or something to that effect and the entire opening song was about how they got a second season <laughs> good stuff anyways i'm gonna go stop rambling and i'm gonna check my list check that <laughs> and um see what i can do and then find a bag to pack in i'm only gone for Tuesday night, Wednesday night, and then I should be back Thursday, so it shouldn't be too, too long, but like I said, I got packed tonight, and yeah. I'm doing pretty well here. I definitely put the transmitter on top of the camera and plugged the cord into the mic jack. <laughs> uh, I was like, why do I have all these displays on the transmitter? because it was the receiver. Anyways, it is 10 to 12, so I figured I would end this dis disaster. I don't know if it's a disaster, this really just like vlog with no direction because I have to be up in like six hours-ish to um, go to work because I'm going in at seven, like I mentioned, but my bag is packed. It's the cute pink one back there. I packed some food, which is in the freezer and um, I just have a list of electronics to grab in the morning, so that's exciting. And um, I'm just gonna go sleep now, because it seems like the right thing to do. So with that, I'm gonna say thanks for being here, and um, I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> Good night. Well, 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 I am back because some mail came. <laughs> um, I opened it already. <laughs> but it's my DMC thread that I ordered like probably a month ago just took a while to get here but it's some more blacks and whites because I needed them and then a lot of greens and purples so it's kind of the way I went I also got like some fun blues so yeah this will be me winding <laughs> stuff later but that time is not now um and maybe that time won't happen before blind channel like I my bobbins and everything fit into my thread container so I can just bring this and wind it when I get out there. I also made sure when I was organizing to try to leave enough space so that I could get them all like because I knew that was coming so I tried to leave space in those ones but I'm sure I'll have to move things. And currently I am re-watching Survivor San Juan del Sur and I am cutting masks. Let's um make this safe. Yeah, so that's the plan for now. I'm cutting mask out of this and this and this I think and then probably this guy too. That was the fabric that I initially bought for masks and then decided I want to make scrunchies. As you can see, I'm wearing a scrunchie that masks that matches the fabric I'm cutting out right now. So that's the plan for today or at least one of the plans. Um, yeah, 
fun times. <laughs> Hello. I passed out real hard for a while there, and what's impressive is this. I fell asleep with all this stuff on my bed, and I just slept like that. Whoop, whoop. And that is a skill that I picked up in university because I got really good, especially in my fourth year, of just falling asleep with like everything on my bed. Clothes, laptop, textbooks didn't matter. I could sleep around it and I got really good at it. So definitely employed that skill just now. Uh, well, I mean a little while ago. I've been up for a while since and I ate dinner <laughs> and um, I'm doing laundry right now. But I did, before I passed out, I managed to cut all these facings, front facings of masks. I have 14 there. So now I need to do linings and I have this fabric that I hate embroidering with. Um, so that'll be a good start, and if that's not enough, I have this gray stuff as well, which is what I've predominantly been using for interfacing. So yeah, anyways, I'm pretty tired still. I don't feel the greatest, but I think I'm going to put on an episode of Survivor. I watched almost all of San Juan del Sur yesterday while I was sewing. I got all the way to the finale episode which I stopped halfway through because I was pretty tired it was like one in the morning uh, <laughs> I got problems but I mean I'd seen it before so that made a difference and I think I'm gonna rewatch Game Changers I think that is the plan because I was looking because I'm like oh I should buy another season because I own quite a few <laughs> Survivor seasons but then I was like mm, wouldn't mind watching Game Changers again because I couldn't decide what I want to buy so I'm gonna do that but I'm still pretty tired as you can tell so I'm gonna turn the fan because I'm now, I was freezing earlier and now I'm warm. Yay. And um, get get to work with the, also I still need to do my actual work work today. And maybe look at my list and see what else it has on it. Okay, so like if I do my COVID cleaning plan and that's all else I do, I'm feeling pretty happy. I've got pressed scrunchies on here, but I don't know if I really wanna do that. <laughs> If I finish cutting these linings, that's, that's the other thing I like to do. And then laundry is already happening. Shower would be nice. And I'm not going to exercise because I feel like crap. Which I should exercise because I feel like crap. But hey, no. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go try to be productive. Alrighty, well it is the end of the night. It's about 11.30. I worked for a bit on some stuff for the theater and I showered obviously because I'm clean. I pretty much did everything on my list except for exercise because I was not feeling like functioning as a human at all and um, pressing the scrunchies but in my timeline I did not include cutting off all those stupid threads and that took a while less time than I thought it would but it still took a while but I think I'm gonna go to sleep here soon hopefully I can get to sleep because that has been a problem I would say probably definitely last week probably a little bit before then so fingers crossed I can get to sleep when I try to because I do work tomorrow so I'll be up at like seven and then we'll see what tomorrow holds I guess I can take a look at my list I feel like my Tuesday is pretty non non non-busy yeah it's like iron some scrunchies <laughs> transfer some footage edit a thing work and vacuum i'm very grateful that i did not vacuum today because i was going to but then cutting those threads there's just threads everywhere now so we'll do that tomorrow but yeah with that i'm gonna go i'm gonna go to sleep maybe i'll be back tomorrow i don't know we'll, we're we're figuring this out as we go along. <laughs> okay, good night.